Welcome to supper time and we are making a fast supper tonight. It's been a busy day. I just finished washing up the lunch dishes and it's time to cook supper. So tonight calls for one of those 30 minute meals. It's a rotini pasta bake lasagna style. So it's pretty much a really easy lasagna recipe, but we're using rotini instead of lasagna noodles. It's latini or rosagna. That's what it is. So I've got the ground beef cooking here. I've got the water getting ready for the pasta back there. Normally I start the pasta first, but the water was taking forever. So I decided to go ahead and get the ground beef going. Once I get the rotini in the pot, we'll go ahead and make the cottage cheese mixture. I need to put the rest of this ground beef in the freezer real quick and then start shredding cheese. I have a little bit of shredded mozzarella already. And then I have this block here. So I need to shred this up. Titus just got home, I guess, I guess it was close to a couple of hours ago. He's working on reorganizing his trailer, like actually completely redoing the inside of the horseshoe and trailer. So he's been out in the garage working on that. He had to run to town real quick to the hardware store before they closed to get a couple of things. Cece has some pretzels in her Easy Bake oven and I accidentally cleared off the timer. And I think they just had about seven minutes left. So I'll check them in about five minutes and we'll see where they're at. Y'all, you can tell I'm in a hurry today. I forgot to wrap my ground beef in plastic wrap before I put it in the freezer bag. There we go. All right, before I start this cheese, I'm gonna check on Cece's pretzels, make sure they're good. She's in there playing with Manly while they were cooking. She was like, can you tell me when my timer goes off? Yeah, they're little bitty apples. They're so cute. She has two more batches of pretzels to make after these. Oh yeah, they're done. Look, she made little pretzel nuggets first. Are you trying to scare mama? Boo! And me. Okay, back over here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Just read your instructions there where it shows you how to do the twisty kind. Okay, I got the ground beef drained. We're gonna put in two jars of traditional pasta sauce. Come home. Come home. Come home. What about Manny? Is Manny home? No, Manny's not home. Manny's not home. All right, the ground beef is done. We've got the sauce in. I've just got it on really low. Rotini is almost ready. We're gonna go ahead and mix up the cheese mixture. This is a 24 ounce cottage cheese. We're gonna use this whole thing. I normally use ricotta, but Walmart didn't have any, so we're gonna use cottage cheese. Oh, you heard cheese, huh? We'll go ahead and dump this in. We're putting in two beaten eggs and the cheese. I'm gonna put all of the block that we shredded and I'll save what was in the bag for the top. We're gonna put some parsley flakes in here, a little bit of garlic powder, and of course, oregano. All right, we are ready to get this in the pan. Spray it down. We're gonna put down some of the meat mixture first. Now a layer of rotini. Now some of the cheese mixture. Now we just repeat until we get to the top.
Okay, y'all, we have about 10, almost 11 more minutes left on the pasta bacon there. We're gonna make some crescent rolls, but I'm gonna try to do some garlic cheese crescent rolls. So in here I have some melted butter. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder, and I hope I melted enough butter because I'm doing two cans of crescent rolls, we'll see. A few parsley flakes. We're just gonna take this little brush, and mix all of that together. Okay, and I have some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want to use. That's just what kind I have already shredded, so I'm going to use that. I put some foil down so it wouldn't make a big mess on the pan. I'm going to spray it. Just a light coat. <laughs> I hate having to get a spoon. There we go. <laughs> I want to have to get a spoon. Okay. So we're just going to take some of the butter and put just a little bit on the inside and some cheese. We'll just put the cheese up at the top here, or, you know, the biggest part of the crescent roll. We're just going to roll it up like that. Put a little bit more butter over the top. Put them on the pan. kitchen is clean. Jonah's fixing himself some hot chocolate. We have a lot left over. So we're looking at lunch tomorrow for sure. And we have some of the crescent rolls left over. I put cheese in most of these and they were really good, but I probably could have put more cheese. I just thought it would fall out everywhere. So I didn't put a lot, but I definitely think it could have, you know, held a little more. They could have held a little more cheese. Jonah didn't even know they had cheese because yeah, I should have like lined the cheese up down the whole thing. But anyway, I just didn't want it to all fall out. I did leave a couple of them without cheese, but that was those two right there. Everybody picked the ones with cheese. As soon as this cools down, I need to vent my lid a little bit. As soon as it cools down, I'm gonna stick all of that in the refrigerator. I'm about to go give Manly his bath and get him ready for bed. I think we're out of marshmallows. What? We have whipped cream. So here's what's left of the peanut butter birthday cake. I sat it out after supper in case anybody wanted a piece. I think somebody got some of that one. That was at the yeah. This, one? Mm -hmm. this cake is so good, y'all. This one? No. This one? Do you want the spiky brush or the smooth brush? It's hard to smooth his down because of that little cow lick. Good. Yeah. Does everybody call them cow licks? Where they have a little, you know, their hair does a little swirl there. Now it's time to brush our teeth, right? No. You don't want him to go to sleep? He's sleepy. Look at how sleepy he is. Here we go. That's right. That's a kangaroo. And you got hiccups. You got hiccups? All right. You just relax. By now, everyone was very hot, very tired, and very cross. The monkey said, you're looking for the hippo. 
hippo. I'm fixing to find him. Everybody then was worried about the hippo because they couldn't find him and he was hiding and seeking. The sloth just laid down and started to dream about where the hippo could be. Where are the night time? There's not a hippo in there, baby. There's not a hippo in this book, baby. They left him out. They it's left not out fair, I know. I know. Life ain't forget. fair. They'll leave you out of books and everything else. I really don't care where he's at. He owes me some money. <laughs> that That's a cheetah. That's cheetah right there. There you it? go. Cheetah. All right. It's time to go bed. Where hippo? Where hippo? Oh, well, that's monkey. I think he thought that you said hippo when you told him he had the hiccups. Oh, that one. So that's why he's looking for a hippo. You got the hiccups. See that? Did you see your belly? <laughs> that's a hiccup. See that? Hiccup. I'm just making it clear to him, Mama. Look, I'm telling you. Look. This is serious. This is going to be one of the moments where Daddy has to come to son. You don't have a hippo inside of you. You did not eat a hippo. He's I know still you're still for looking for a hippo. There's no hippo around these parts. Bye bye. Oh, you gonna be right back? Okay. I'm gonna leave a pause, Miss. Oh. Any hippopotamus is some dangerous animals. I know everybody thinks they see them out there blowing water up and squirting water out of their ears and everything out there and they think that they innocent. Them things ain't innocent, they will charge. Okay y'all, one more load to switch out and then the day is done.